I remember that uh, one of the entrepreneurs I talked about uh, my idea to get feedback and advices called my startup uh, Capital Intensive, which refers to business that requires a large amount uh, of investment to produce a service. This statement terrified me at the beginning. For sure, as a 23 years old student, I didn't have such a large amount of capital to start a business and this discouraged me a lot at first. But at the same time, this statement made me curious and I started to really ask myself, how much money will I actually need to start? I didn't know the answer and uh, realized that an adjective doesn't mean anything, but I have to quantify. So I started to write a financial plan, listing all the resources I needed to settle down and the money uh, I would have need to get them. In particular, I focused on the first three and five years of the company's life, considering that the use of resources would be increased and I tried to prioritize uh, the resources I could use according to the capital I expected to have over the years. In fact, on the other side, I focused on the capital thinking on how much I could gather and how. As Sarah pointed out, a financial plan is what you need to both plan the activities of your starting and present your project to potential investors. Here are the things you should think of when drafting your financial plans. First, calculate setup cost. List all the items you need to start your business to get a good idea of upfront cost and whether you will need to borrow funds. Here are some examples of calls that typically come up at the start. Registration, rent and utilities, equipment, working capital, it's the money needed for day-to-day -day operation, and etc. Second, forecast profit and loss. Estimate your sales and expenses to coach whether you can expect to make a profit or loss for each of these periods. This will help you develop sales targets, pricing, and likely profit margins. To base your number, you can use industry benchmark and analyze. Third, work out your cash flow projection. A business that makes a profit can still run out of cash. Completing cash flow projection can help you recognize whether you will have enough cash to run your business or if you will need additional funds. Fourth, forecast balance sheet. List all your expected, expected sorry, assets and liabilities after your first 12th month to evaluate the financial health of your business ID. Your balance sheet should include these three sections. First, assets, what your business own, cash, inventory, buildings, etc. Second, liabilities, what your business owes, account payable and loans and third owners equity this is the difference between your assets and your liabilities and finally find your break-even point completing a break-even analysis shows you the number of sales need to cover costs anything above this number can be counted as a profit the break-even point can be useful for analyzing the sales, cost and pricing number used in your earlier forecast and changing whether your business ID is feasible.